New at four o'clock, it's as easy as pressing a button. Police now say to beware of borrowers who ask that you use your phone to make an emergency phone call. But instead, they transfer your money into their own bank account. KRDO News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas joins us live in studio with more. Jasmine. Now you might think they're dialing the phone number to make the call, but instead they are going into your third party apps and sending themselves quick cash. A few weeks ago, several UCCS college students fell victim to this crime. They believe it was the same person. Individual basically just gives them a story as to Hello. I need to borrow a phone, my phone's down, I need to contact somebody in the dorms. It might seem like a harmless request. So they give him their phone, and then while he's on the phone, he gets into their Vidmo app, mostly because their Vidmo app isn't password protected, and transfers money from their Vidmo account to, to his Vidmo account. At UCCS, this happened to at least three students, robbing them of nearly $2,500 to $3,000. I can't tell you that they'll get their money back, we hope they will get their money back and we will work at every effort to get that res resolution. The university is currently working with Colorado Springs police through this investigation, hoping they can help these students get their funds back. And just about 40 minutes south, the same thing happening at CSU Pueblo, but instead using Cash App. The Pueblo County Sheriff's Office is currently also investigating this incident. To avoid being a victim of this crime, police suggest the following. Make the phone call for the person and use the speaker. Make sure banking and cash apps are secure and password protected. And make sure to log out of your accounts after every time you use it. If you are a victim of this crime, you need to contact law enforcement right away. Reporting live in studio, Jasmine Arenas for KRDO News Channel 13. Mm. Good tips there, Jasmine. Thank you.